I am Upma Singh, working as a lecturer in the Department of Science at Biani Group of Colleges, welcomes you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. Today I am going to deliver my lecture on reactive intermediates. It comes in chemistry and reactive intermediates, these are very important in organic chemistry as they are produced in between the reaction and they are consumed in between the reaction. We cannot separate out them as it is. Reactive intermediates. These are fragment of molecules having atoms with unusual number of atoms or electrons. And these are very short lived species. They remain for a very short interval of time in the reactions. They are never present in high concentration. They are produced in between and they are consumed in between. As I have told earlier, we cannot separate them out as it is. These reactive intermediates in order to understand their structure or in order to write the mechanism of the reaction, first of all we have to know how they are produced and how they act. Now let's classify them. They can be classified into four important parts, carbocations, radicals, they are also called as free radicals, carbenines and the last one is carbenes. Now as the name indicates, Carbo cation. Carbo and cation. Carbo it represents carbon. Here it is. And cation, cations we know these are the positively charged species. Now this carbo cation it is bonded to three different atoms. They can be different or they can be same. It is having this positive charge on it. That's why it have got the name carbo cation. Now this carbo cation it has no non-bonding electron at its structure and these are the positively charged species. They are also called as electrophiles and electrophiles as we all know these are the electron loving species. They can react with the nucleophiles or they can attack the place where there is excess of electrons. These are sp2 hybridized and planar in structure. And their structure, it resembles to that of BF3, having a bond angle of 120 degree. Now, move to radical or free radical. Now, as the name indicates, it is having a free radical at the carbon. Carbon is bonded to three hydrogen atoms, having a free electron on its structure. Now, this free electron, it participates in the reaction and plays a major role. Now, it has one non-bonding electron, this one. This is non-bonded. It is not bonded to any other atom and it is neutral in nature. Now, let's move to the carbanion. Now, as the name indicate, carbon and anion means carbon having a negative charge. So, this carbon is having a negative charge here, bonded to three hydrogen atoms. Now, the important feature of this is it is having a pair of non-bonding electron. Now this pair of non-bonding electron, it makes it very important in this, uh, for a chemical reaction. Now it has a pair of non-bonding electron and it is a negatively charged species. Now the negative charge, it indicates that there is excess of electron. Now the, here becomes the tendency of the electrophile to attack at this place. And the last one is carbenes. Carbenes, these are also produced in between the reactions. Now the important feature of carbene is that it is divalent in nature. Now what are divalent species? Divalent means having two bonds. This carbon it is having two hydrogen atoms or we can say only it is attached with the two bonds only. And one more important thing here lies, uh, here lies a pair of non-bonding electron but it is also neutral in nature. Now all these carbonyls, carbenes, radicals and carbocations, these are called as reaction intermediates. Intermediates means produced in between the reaction, consumed in between the reaction and at the end of the reaction we cannot separate out them as it is. But they are very important for a reaction to proceed. Thank you, thank you and thank you very much. For more information log on to GuruKPO.com.